All right, we have something of a problem. As you can see, the ships that I so laboriously worked towards getting docked are now undocked. That's because after I switched to the tracking station to pick something I could safely warp at a higher pace from, I ended up with KSP locking up on me, crashing, and it was necessary to restart, and when I restarted, I naturally loaded this up to make sure everything was okay here. And this is what I find. The ships are undocked. So, I'm going to switch over to this. I am going to rename the vessel. Rescue 1, so that it can be easily selected. I hope. And switch back to this thing here. And I'm going to send it to the surface via a retro burn. Let's go to free camera. Whoa, what was that all about? It's acting like the SAS is on, but it's not. All right. Oh, let's see. Nine to engage the engines. I'm going to send this piece of crap back down to the surface, let it crash, go into the VAB, and check the design and make sure there isn't a second docking port on top that shouldn't be there. Relaunch a new one, get back up here and dock again. And this time it shouldn't be quite such a laborious pain. And in the process, I'll be switching back to the laser docking cam. stats. Okay, periapsis is negative. Cut the engines. And time warp. This ship has proven to be enough of a pain that I actually want very much right now to see it crash. just get another one up there that doesn't have two docking ports on the front, one of them facing in very much the wrong direction, which is another reason why, actually that might be the reason the alignment indicator was all screwed up. So I might give that thing one more try. But if it doesn't work after this, it goes in the bit bucket. it goes all the way down. Power it right into the ground. How about that? Not bad. Okay. I'm off to the vehicle assembly building. Okay, here we are. Checking the Mark 6. And you'll notice there is one Count them. One Clampatron Senior docking port on the front end of this thing. So, I don't know what the heck happened and how it managed to acquire a second one. But, it appears that everything is fine now. Appearances, of course, can be deceiving. 
I will now launch this thing to orbit again and get docked with that other ship again and I'll see you once we're docked or once we're close to docking once again we're on close approach to rescue one Let's see if this time we can make this work. First we kill our relative velocity. And then we get on the business of approaching. Plus, and start approaching. approach down somewhere around a hundred meters and then we should be able to get about the business of actually getting docked for a bit of time warp to get closer. Okay, we're just about ready here. And about now. Target plus, and bring that closest approach down even more. That's good right there. It might be actually be too good. We'll see. Time warp down again. Try to keep it in view. All right. To flip the view like so. All right. It's close enough to see it. docking port set as a target okay let's go ahead and turn that off and get rid of it kill the relative velocity well I hit the wrong key instead of X I hit something else and it didn't kill it quick enough
relative velocity down. Get a nice gentle three meters per second approach. And then we can right. That's good right there. Switch to docking mode and chase cam. Why is it I always end up going past the chase cam when I'm trying to tab to it or switch rotate through the camera views? RCS on will be helpful. And I blew right on past it. some of this relative velocity in various directions. yellow marker over here so that we're moving toward the proper position instead of away from it. And start closing in instead of moving away. Turn the lights on. Yeah, we've got plenty of electric power for that. Who knows, we might even actually make this one work. got a shot of working. This has been the best attempt at docking so far today and it has been a royal pain to get something like this to work. I don't know why. It's not like I've been away from it that long. Okay now do we have a docking happening here? We have a docking. SAS off, RCS off. And let's do a little bit of SAS kill rotate. All right. We'll use the time warp trick if that doesn't work.
two and only two docking ports, quantum thrust, quantum uh, struts engaged. All right, we are finally docked and in condition, in position to actually get prepared to go to Duna. So once again, I'm going to zoom out here. Actually, there's no point in setting Duna as target just yet. What I need to do, however, is to switch to another ship so that I can time warp faster until we're in position. And this looks like a good candidate. see the curb and duna relationship and time warp on this angle gets to be about 45 degrees or approximately something that looks like that. We switch back to Kerbin and our rescue ship and get this show on the road. That looks about as close as it's going to be. So, let's see. I bet you I can't. No, 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 no. Now I can't select the ship from way out here. I'll have to go by way of the tracking station to get there, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay. I just cut the recording in just now. And you see here, the two ships came apart as I switched back. Docking ports on both of them destroyed. Torn those. So obviously there is some seriously major problems here. And both ships need a major redesign. not up to doing that right now so I'll be back to do some redesign work on these things and come up with a combination that works obviously what I've been doing so far is not working and I'm kinda starting to suspect that the problem lies in these Clampatron senior docking ports they look great but they seem to have problems that the regular clampatrons don't have. So perhaps that's the change I need to make. In any event, I'll be back when I'm ready to make that change and try launching both of these ships again. In the meantime, I am going to off camera send both of these into a mountainside. Mm -hmm.